Hello and welcome to Wuzzy's Electronic Album Picks. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And uh, today, um, it's going to be different. Um, I'm going to be talking about earbuds and headphones. Now, a while ago, I had a poll or a vote for uh, what was the most popular way to listen to music. And uh, this is what uh, turned out. So we had headsets um, or headphones as most popular. Um, 52.9% and earbuds came in second as 34.5% and speakers came in third which at 12.6% uh, and I don't listen to much music came in 0% so let's talk about some earbuds and headphones I'll talk about four types earbuds headphones these are simply called earbuds they were a huge changer in the headphone industry, which was being dominated by large, bulky, over-the-head counterparts. And um, they were extremely portable, and they had a take-it-where-you-go approach, so sales record, and broke all over the world. Remember Sony Walkman? It popularized the use of earbuds headphones. They are cheap, very small, and offer good sound quality for an affordable price. These type of headphones are manufactured at large scale, even now. However, audio enthusiasts try to stay away from them. Apple Earbuds They're the most popular version of earbuds headphones. They offer great sound quality at a cheap price. Brands like Philips and Sennheiser introduced earbuds with ear hook design. Now here are the pros and cons for earbud headphones. The pros, they're portable and cheap price. The cons, they're bad at blocking outside noise, um, poor fit and they tend to fall out, and have a hurtful design. In-ear headphones, currently in-ear headphones are at its peak of popularity. Many smartphone manufacturers now include them as a standard offering inside the box. These type of headphones offer excellent price to performance ratio. In-ear headphones are the smallest of them all, being incredibly lightweight, offering an average weight of 1 to 1.6 ounces, including wire weight. These type of headphones successfully seal your ear canal opening, offering favorable noise isolation, allowing you to enjoy your music in your home, during travel, or anywhere you choose to be. Once the music is playing through these type of headphones, most of the ambient noise gets blocked, like birds chirping, passerby footsteps, car passing, and so on. Well, sharp noises like car horns and tire screeching and trains um, can easily pierce in. Various ear tip size of small, medium, and large, either made up of silicone or memory foam, are included with in-ear headphones. Choose the one which suits you best. Memory foam ear tips are the most comfortable and offer better sound isolation compared to silicone ear tips. Now, the pros and cons for the in-ear headphones. Now, pros, um, well, they deliver great sound quality and um, they isolate um, outside sounds. And the cons, um, they can cause ear pain and um, I heard that they can cause earwax buildup. Over the ear headphones. These type of headphones come in two categories. They are closed back headphones and open back headphones. Closed back over ear headphones. Now these are actually the type of headphones that I'm using. Um, I'm using the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro. Closed back headphones are more popular among average day consumers and come in more affordable ranges compared to open back headphones. Now the science behind closed back headphones is uh, the back of these headphones, uh, they're closed and they uh, block out ambient noise at the same time avoiding sound leakage. And once you turn on your music, it eliminates the outside noise completely, offering excellent noise isolation. Open back over ear headphones. Open back headphones look very similar to the closed back headphones. However, there's a major design difference. In the back of these headphones, they're completely open. They have a physical grilled mesh where you can see its internal circuitry. 
As we know, closed back headphones block outside noise, but open back headphones allow outside ambient noise to enter inside your ear cans. Now you're probably wondering uh, why why would you get headphones like that? You know um, that cause ambient sounds to leak in, but. The truth is, open back headphones offer phenomenal sound quality. These type of headphones allow free movement of air to create livelier sound with excellent bass response. Since studios have quiet environments and sound dampening construction, it makes sense using open back headphones there. Now, the pros and cons for the over ear headphones. Pros, optional noise isolation and um, excellent sound quality and um, they're very well made. Cons. Bulky design, not meant for outdoor use, and some headphones are um, quite expensive. So there you go, three different types of headphones plus a type within a type. So um, what kind of headphone do you use? Do you like the closed back headphones or do you use the open back? Maybe you just use the earbuds, or maybe you uh, prefer the in-ear headphones. For more information on headphones, check out the description below, as well as the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Um, if you're new to the show and liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Also, hit that bell so you're notified when I have a new video out. And also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, you guys have a good day and night, and um, cheers.